Well, I'm very, very honored to be here. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful occasion. And uh, I just want to say that um, this is a place that I love dearly. I've been here before, but not very recently. So uh, I find today is going to be a very special day for us. At this moment, I've been able to just glance at some of these pictures on the wall here, and already I have become emotionally moved, of course, by the great artists that are in this building. And art is something that is uh, universal. Uh, art is something that can give us inspiration, creativity, and also mystery. La obra de Bill Viola hoy irradia en nuestras salas, en las salas de la, del Museo de la Academia, entre las obras de Pedro de Mena, de Rivera, Alonso Cano, Zurbarán, incluso Goya, como ustedes están viendo. El acercamiento que Bill Viola hace a los clásicos no es una apropiación. Lo que pretende Bill Viola es introducirnos en un mundo de espiritualidad, en un mundo de reflexión, donde se establezca un diálogo que él, de una manera cantenciosa y eh, pausada, lentamente, nos va transportando con unos gestos, unas miradas apenas perceptibles. I'm standing in front of my own work. And that's good for an artist. So we don't, become, we don't want to become too, I'm the best, you know. So you can't do that. This is a work that I made here. It's called Surrender. And it's an image of two people who are shown up, separated, upside down. This is a work about sorrow. It's about loss. It's about feeling something very deeply uh, because I feel in today's world we don't really experiencing, we're not experiencing things very deeply. These two people will eventually uh, disappear in a kind of cloud, a kind of stream of water and then they will be flipped over to the other side. And this is something that's continually going on over and over again, the connection between tears and, and water. The destruction of the self in order to create a new self and you see here, too, the distortion that happens when you think you're fine and you think you're well and you think you understand. And you don't really understand because the soul is traveling through these bodies right now to find a new center. And they will go on searching until this change becomes absolutely still on the water. Yeah, and the name of this piece is Surrender, because there are many things in life that you need to surrender to for something greater, even if it is painful, doloroso. Okay. Yes, the, the other thing, um, yeah, Kira just reminded me that, how could I forget that the great Master Goya is in the building today? Yes, and he'll be signing uh, autographs very soon. So this is the main moment here of the release. So these people here have just gone through something really, really difficult. And it was threatening to destroy them. The beauty I find in this piece is after this destruction, when the dust settles, when everything clears, and you ter return your mind to emptiness, then 
you will see that they have made it. They didn't die. They didn't get destroyed. And they have broken through. And that's the cycle of birth and death and rebirth that's going on in the cosmos, in the universe, I think, forever. The experience they had is something that all of us will not like to have. And now they're just realizing from their expressions what happened. And that is the most important moment. It's the moment after the big explosion. It's after the disturbance. So at, that's the time when then you can begin to open your eyes again and to understand what happened so that you can move on and continue to create uh, uh, experiences and to continue to understand the world in both its positive and negative aspects. Because when I was in art school, I was always interested only in the future. I didn't think about the past in my own culture, in world culture. I didn't think about that. I was moving forward and I was exploring a new medium at the same time. And so I didn't really acknowledge the old masters or anything like that. I didn't even know what they even were. That's okay. If you get immersed in something, like I did at that time, it gives you a lot back. You don't even realize it. I mean, as a young person, I didn't even realize how much I was getting uh, of, of real quality information and, and deep, deep emotion. Um, but it was just that um, I, I couldn't understand and, and even know too much about the old masters. And then um, one day my mother died and my whole world was turned upside down. And it was very, very um, frightening to me, very disturbing. Well, what can I say? I mean, when, it, when that happens, it, it exists everywhere. It was uh, a shock. And so I had an experience of something that was taken away from me, one of the most important, my mother. And now I had to live with that. So unlike my technology and working with all these new mediums, uh, that started to teach me something even greater. It taught me that life is precious. You never know when life will stop. So you must take every day, every minute, every fragment, and consider that to be precious in whatever you do. That's the most important thing for all of us. We have a small amount of time on this earth and we should use it wisely to help ourselves and to help others. Okay. I have just had an incredible experience walking through these rooms. I think right now, what this museum has done in what I've seen right now is absolutely incredible. Because there always was a separation between the old masters and the new technology. There was always battles against each other in a way. But now, the people in this museum have taken contemporary art and brought it into this museum. And for most of my life as well, as an artist, uh, it was always you go to the highest uh, uh, places of learning to see the old masters, 
And then after that, you go to the Contemporary Art Museum. What I've been trying to do, and my colleagues trying to do, we're trying to have that gap be connected. Because all art is contemporary art. All art is contemporary art. So I want to thank everybody for coming here and, uh, and um, I hope to come back. Okay? So thank you. Eh, estamos encantados de participar en esta exposición, eh, que creo que va a ser un hito dentro de este año, eh, Bill Viola en la Real Academia. Eh, encaja claramente con nuestras líneas estratégicas que tienen que ver con otras miradas, con otros diálogos entre el arte contemporáneo y la pintura más histórica, más clásica. Y qué mejor que la Real Academia precisamente porque es donde, donde se conserva quizás eh, uno de los hitos más importantes de nuestra cultura, nuestra pintura más histórica. Eh, creo que Bill Viola además es un artista con una reputación mmm, muy asentada y que por medio del videoarte, de la instalación, va a crear un, una comunicación, un diálogo muy apasionante. <risa>